in Facebook. So if you want to hear this call, you can go to Facebook. So as you know, every Thursday, um, it's kind of a carry forward from the juicy calls that we have every Wednesday with our director and above mastermind call. And yesterday we had a really juicy call. And the subject was turning up the heat in your business in the summer. <clears throat> and sometimes people think, well, the summer, everything slows down, but it doesn't. Everything's growing. I mean, if you saw our yard and garden, you go, oh my gosh. I mean, everything's growing, right? And your business should be growing too. <clears throat> Robin and I are getting out and about quite a bit. I tell you, we can hardly go anywhere without bumping into someone that we end up talking about LifeWave and the patches too. So, um, so we're going to talk about turning up the heat in the summer. Before we do, I just want to talk for a moment to remind us all what a blessing and a responsibility it is for us to know about LifeWave at this stage in the evolution of the company and at this stage of the evolution of the stem cell industry. <clears throat> and stem cell technology is the leading edge of health sciences. And it's also the leading edge of regenerative sciences and anti-aging, okay? And, and, and something we all need to know or probably do know that in business, trends are our friends. And this is the biggest trend in health sciences, stem cell research, development, technology, and therapy. Now, we're not allowed to use the word therapy, but so we are stem cell technology, but you know that's what's happening out there. And when you look at that, the blossoming stem cell industry, we come in with a very disruptive and affordable technology that makes that exclusive, expensive technology available to the masses. And so over the years, in the coming years, as the stem cell industry blossoms, it's already a multi-billion dollar industry, as it blossoms to become hundreds of billions, and LifeWay blossoms to become multiple billions, we all have an opportunity to keep, to get our slice of that business. And so, you know, trends are your friends and, you know, and it might take a year, two, three, four, five years. What if it took three to five years for you to have total financial independence and freedom, you know, to have a residual income coming in every week that used to exceed what you used to make every month. And for some of us, it exceeds what some people make a year. And that's the opportunity we have. So I just wanted to kind of give everybody a nudge. We have something very special here that we share being the early adopters with this disruptive technology in the stem cell industry. And so <clears throat> we've got some of our leaders with us here this morning from the call yesterday. They're going to share some of their insights to what can we do? Because a little over three months, you know, going into the fourth month in October, we're all going to be gathered together at the national conference. And we just had this great promotion. A lot of people stepped up a rank. <clears throat> but I'd really like to challenge you all to, th you know, to ask the question, where do you want to be when the summer comes to rest, when September comes to rest, and we're gathered together at the conference in October, what rank do you want to be at? And, 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 and think of that holding that vision, not only for you, but for the members of your team, because the beauty of this business model, the only way you get where you want to go is help a lot of other people get where they want to go. So uh, that's kind of my, <clears throat> I'll get off my soapbox, but I just got this inspiration. Maybe I had too, too strong a cup of coffee this morning or something, but um, you know, I just realized how blessed we are. So I, I've got some people that volunteered. I think we're going to start with uh, Janet Kiefer. Janet, if you're on, uh, you've been rallying your team to, to make some exciting, do some exciting planning and activities to really make the most of summer. So why don't you kick it off as for, for us here this morning? Well, thank you, Gregory. And hi, everybody. Glad to see so many people on the call this morning and people on Facebook joining us and maybe you watch it later on. So I'm, as you know, I'm a girl that has, you know, bullet point game plans. So grab your pencil, all right? <laughs> so the first thing, and if you're looking across these next three months is you got to know your why. Why are you doing it, right? All right. My why is for years, I've just really had this inspiration. I'm going to put in 150,000 people over 50. And when I heard that Greg and Robin have a team over 150,000, I said, that's doable, right? All right. You need to know your why. Why are you doing it? What's your big vision? 
Also, there's fear of missing out. Gregory said, hey, you know, we're we're on the this train's moving that we're going to momentum. So honestly, I don't want to be sitting there next spring and everybody got on the trip and I'm not there because I didn't basically get off my behind and get going. Right. So fear of missing out. You don't want that. So your why? Why? <laughs> like, what are you going to miss if you don't do this? Right. So we've got other people coming on board, but you need to write your goals. What do you want to achieve between now and convention? Really write them down. What do you want to achieve? Do you, what rank do you want to be at? Where are you now? What do you need? Do you need 12 managers on one team and six directors on another? What do you need? Where are you now? If you're already a director and you want to rank up, do you know your global um, volume unilevel number? That's your team's volume all the way down. You've got to know that number. You have to have 10,000 for a senior director. You have to have 50,000 for an executive director. How far are you? Know your metrics. Then you've got a ways to go. Okay, now what are we going to do in July? What are we going to do in August? What are we going to do in September? How many people do you have going to convention? Which is why those of you who were on the director call yesterday is why I'm getting a little riled. We have to push a lot of people through conventions, so they better know we're coming, Gregory. <laughs> That's where you're going to win. If you didn't go last year, make a commitment that you're going this year. So I'll just kick it off there. Have a vision. Have a why. Know what your goals are. Know what you're going to miss out on and what your team's going to miss out on, right? Because no, everybody's busy, you guys. We don't have time to do this, but they do have 15 minutes here and 30 minutes there and an hour here. That's how we do it. So kick it off leaders go oh thank you janet that was wonderful and uh gosh it was so good actually seeing you and breaking bread together we had a wonderful italian dinner together with you and and, and a number of your teammates and i think we'll just invite that next one on barbara who you're right there why don't you join us and i know you're a doer also <laughs> and maybe you've got some things you'd like to share this morning well, I thank you so much, Gregory, and I love everything that Janet said, because you have to have that big vision and those concrete goals to go forward and to kind of marry that with what you said, uh, Gregory, about how to ramp up in the summer. One of the things I love best about summer is that you can get out more. You can be with people more. Um, the the days are long. I love meeting people in the evening. When, you know, in the middle of the winter, it's dark at 4.30 or 5, and do you really want to drive, and is it cold, and is it rainy? But here, especially, I mean, all of our communities all across the country, we have these wonderful uh, weather opportunities, and you can do patio dining, you can meet people uh, just like we just like we did um, in Houston, and it's just such an opportunity to have fun while you're actually doing your business. So that is one thing I would like to kind of stress because I'm trying to ramp up setting more morning coffees where we can eat out on the patio before it's too hot and just um, really get out and be with people during this time. And then the other thing, and I know Sunshair has uh, input on this too, but I have um, adopted the bling. Where can you see it? There we are. I can't get that. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, these these little these are eons. I choose to do eons, and I've been putting bling on them, and so I just make up a bunch of them. And um, this actually came from an interview with. Um, uh, what is her name? Dame Sandra Siskin, I think, um, on the LifeWave Connect in April. And that was a great interview. And she she's in Southern California and does bling all the time. That was such a great thing. So I have these little things. These these actually were a gift for me in, um, in Houston from Ruth Ann. But I have a um, I have a vision box that, you know, where I make vision board stuff and I just throw all my supplies in there. And so I started pulling these out and these are just from Hobby Lobby. So um, so that's one thing because it's a conversation starter. First of all, it's a fun thing and it's also a conversation starting. Well, what's that on your arm? Okay, 
And, um, and so I wear it in a place that's very obvious. So that's a fun thing for me. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. <clears throat> and uh, I think we're going to hear a little bit more about bling from a couple other folks this morning. But, you know, yesterday I was so excited on our call to have a brand new director with us. And she's adopted the name, the Happy Patcher. And I want to add Kame to our call here this morning. So hi, Kame. <laughs> How are you? And you're muted, so go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory. I appreciate that. Um, hold on. I've got this thing in front of me. Uh, you know, one of the things I've learned, and I have to get out of my own way, because <laughs> I can tend to stay at home and not meet people and stuff. But once I get out, and I start talking to people about the patches, about what they've done for me, you know, it just opens me up. And also it opens the opportunity up to help other people and um, give them an opportunity for better health. But one of the things that I've found is when you go to the swimming pool or you're working out if, like Barbara said, you wear a patch so that people see it. Well, when you're in a swimsuit, it's kind of hard not to see it. But people ask questions. They want to know what it is. And it, it's a perfect opportunity to share with them about the uh, fabulous stem cell activation patches. Um, I talk to everybody. I mean, you know, I I have talked to my massage therapist, my hairdresser. They're so sick of hearing about the patches. They can't stand it. But, you know, I share stories about what other people, what's happened with other people. I go, I mean, I've had people call me and say, go patch somebody. They're in pain. And it actually worked out well for me uh, last week. A lady I had patched about two months ago called me and said asked me if I had come to her house and I said yes and I knew who she was because she had uh, not signed up with me she'd signed up with her sister which was fine you know um, but she wanted my cards and she said that she has people at the swimming pool all the time ask her what those patches are and um she said her sister wasn't doing anything and, you know, she's interested in sharing with other people. So it's, it's great not to prejudge, to just be open and, and have conversations and make new friends. That's, that's what I like to do. That's why they call me the happy patcher. <laughs> Better than the happy hooker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the happy patcher's got a much brighter future. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and it evolves from being the happy clicker, but being the happy patcher—that's very cool. That's very cool. Thanks for sharing, Kimmy. And you know, Robin and I were at the farmers market yesterday, and uh, we have someone that I was at a an open house. My daughter works with this uh, group called Farm to School. And uh, and they're growing food for all the local schools over in Livingston, Montana. And they had this big shindig. And I, I got to know this one gal that was there, the kind of friend of the family. She, oh, yeah, I know about the patches. Yeah, I've been using them. Uh, I, in fact, I've been getting from a friend of mine, uh, Kara Lee. And I don't know, Kara Lee, if you'd like to jump on, I'd love to, you know, to, to share the story about Rochelle uh, with you and with them at the same time. If you want to, if you're there and you could... Uh, Unmute yourself. I'm here. Okay, good. And let me bring you, uh, let me uh, promote you out here. Let me put the spotlight on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Carol Lee, as, as this friend, and you know, they were trading patches. She's an herbalist trading for her materials. And I, I saw her the day before yesterday, and she goes, I really need to get on the patches. I really do. And I says, Well, okay, we'll be at, and she goes, Are you going to be at the farmer's market? I said, Yeah. And she goes, So will I, because he has a booth there. So we went to the farmer's market and we did some horse trading too. We, we went home with a bag full of herbal stuff. 
but you know, chatting with her and she goes, but you know, I don't really want to do the business. I says, well, you know, you could just refer people. It only costs $25 to become a brand partner and you could refer people and Kara Lee and Robin and I'll talk to them for you. And she goes, oh, really? Okay, I'll do that. And it was like that. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if you had a chance to connect with her yet, but she's a delight. And, oh, and then it wasn't 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, Rob and I are over a different part of the farmer's market over by where the music's playing. And this woman comes over and says, Rochelle said, I should talk to you about the patches. <laughs> so she had her first referral. <laughs> yes, I did send her some information this morning for her to get okay. started. So oh, she said, thank you. <laughs> great. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so... Um, uh, did you want to share about, and so I'm going to let you share for a few minutes uh, about anything you wanted to share because you were on oh, the list. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love that there's so many ways to do this. You know, yeah. she, she wasn't ready to sign up when I was talking to her, but she wanted some products. So we did some trading. She's it. She not only does she do herbs, but she does lashes and various things like that. So that's how I traded with her and now she's ready. So it's all perfect timing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I did want to show some of my bling. So I, that's some what of I it, thought you were going to do. Because then we'll yeah. bring on Sunshower next. Because I know you and Sunshower are going to do the bling thing with us. Yeah. So the, there's these are mostly from Walmart. There's a few from Amazon. There's there's just so many options. Little tiny dots. <laughs> <laughs> And then I have one for guys too. So hang on. <laughs> um, so this is the one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Yeah. But I can put, and it's backwards. But I will put a photo in the chat. It says age reversal generates copper peptides, stem cell activation. So, you know, and there's also one on Amazon, which I, I can also put in the chat that says something about. I can't remember what it says, but it's already made. And I'm going to order that one next because I like to have a variety of things. I usually wear it right here on my wrist, mm -hmm. but I think I've seen people wear it right here and put a lot of bling on it. And then it kind of looks like a pendant. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And like they said, since it's summer, we have more skin exposure and more opportunities to show our patches. You could always wear the <laughs> one right here too <laughs> if you're really brave that's right yeah so you know i was thinking that uh you know when you're wearing a patch sometimes people think well it's a band-aid you got an owie you know but if there's bling on the on the patch it is going to create curiosity what is that you know it's like so <laughs> and that's the goal um uh, i remember uh our trainer phil what's his last name phil jones uh, phil jones said, our job is to interrupt people long enough to make them interested in something they didn't know exists. And that's a good way to interrupt them. You go, wow, what is that? So thanks so much. Uh, Sunshower. Welcome. Oh, Robin, did you want to share? Well, I wanted to share about the farmer's market and how wonderful it was to meet Rochelle. Oh, my goodness. We fell in love. <laughs> and, you know, wherever you go, just be prepared especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So I had my phone and I had my patches with me. <laughs> and so I, I definitely did some patching yesterday unexpectedly, but I also got to see one of my customers mm. who comes to the farmer's market every week. And I made a point to sit with her and connect with her. And you just, you know, the it's the relationship. It's people knowing that you care. So, you know, I, I had no idea the, what was going to happen with Rochelle other than she was getting patches, but she's already <laughs> referring people and the woman she's referring will definitely get involved. Um, and so there's a growing business from that and it's from showing up, but be prepared, bring your patches always as a first aid kit, if nothing else. Great. Well, here we have sun shower. <laughs> bling number two or three. Or bling. <laughs> the master blinger. <laughs> well, that's what you asked me to speak about today. So I'm I'm following up with two wonderful blingers already. Yeah, that's a great thing, right? So yeah. many ways to, you know, and I love what Janet said too. Trust me, I'm honored about my business today, and I'm gonna 
be at convention. I'm bringing people. I'm going to be up another, at least one more rank by then. So in the meantime, I'm out in summer and I'm loving to go to like the park, you know, and take off my shoes. There's some grass over there. Arizona doesn't have a whole lot of grass. So I'm <laughs> meeting people at the park. The other day I was uh, wanting to walk barefoot and I saw a man. He was doing Tai Chi and I go, oh, I'm going to go over and talk to him. And we ended up talking about patches. And, you know, I didn't I did have some bling on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my bling thing. Let's give you some ideas. You know, I'm a little sparkly today. I even did that. Obviously, that's not for the guys, but and I have my other hat. Okay, different <laughs> oh, colors. Hannah. And um, oh, this is my Cinderella one. This is my Nirvana today. And I'm wearing my Cinderella. I thought about it. It could be like movie themes. It could be <laughs> so many things. It doesn't have to just be girly. So like, this is one of my favorite colors is turquoise. Can you tell? Yeah. And uh, one of my, they just dropped, but it's really similar to, uh, I think what Kame and, and uh, Carol Lee were showing, and I really like that. What about stars? <laughs> what about happy faces and hearts and different things like that? I mean, the young, you know, some of our youngsters are wearing patches. Why shouldn't they get involved and put some fun things on their patches too? Oh, gosh, you've got quite the stash. <laughs> <laughs> And I was asked yesterday, what store, where do I get these? And the ones that I'm getting are at the Dollar Tree. I guess, I think that's a national store, right? So mm -hmm. I went to the store yesterday and took pictures for you. Th these ones are more for the guys, but not necessarily. What about travel? What about the beach? What about sports? And then more back to the girls, you know, different color blings. This is how they come, at least at the dollar mm -hmm. store on these little... Um, cardboard things anyway i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> well thank you sunshara that's wonderful and um so <clears throat> we do have time for a few questions i see paula you have your hand up if you'd like to uh you know uh unmute, unmute. there you go hi paula i uh, i bling in a different way i have a sublimation printer and i put pictures of my animal on there Ooh. And Whatever picture I had to print, um, I can print anything because it's a sublimation printer. And it just makes people, I put my kids on there, I put just different things, and it makes people ask questions, like you said. And I'll wear them out where you can see them. So I'll have a different picture, different flowers in my yard, whatever. But nice. it's that. And so it piques interest. It does. That's great. Good work. A creativity contest going yeah. on here. <clears throat> Sanchara, you got your hand up again. Did you want to add something? Yes. I wanted to say, you know, you could have a decoy on. You may not have a tummy problem, right? <laughs> this is like the tummy. Isn't that like the tummy and gallbladder point? Well, what if you don't have that, but you want your bling to show? It could <laughs> be a decoy patch. The other thing is, um, if you're using a patch that's been used, the sticky might be gone. So you can use medical tape. You can use two-sided tape. Just giving you more ideas, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <clears throat> we're almost at the bottom of the hour. Uh, and I just want to add to this. Um, it, you, you, we talk about the 333, you know, getting out there and contacting three people, following up on three people, and helping people three people take the next step, <clears throat> whether it's three, 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 two, two, two. I hope you're at least at the one, one, one. I hope everyone is at least contacting one new person a day, following up on <clears throat> yesterday's person, maybe the person from the day before that. But if, if I think Shakespeare said it, he said, if man were but constant, he would be perfect. And I guess he figured women already were, he would have included them, right? So, but you know, it's the consistency. And when I, in my early days of network marketing, I changed my middle name to persistent, you know, because I was persistent. For me, failure wasn't an option because you've heard my story. I sold my business, a sale fell through, I didn't get paid. You know, I went from retirement to requirement, from litigation to liquidation. Let's start a new life. And network marketing is the only thing I could afford to do. And, uh, and, and on the motivational ladder, as they say, malnutrition's way up there, especially when it's your kids. So I was very motivated. 
failure wasn't an option. It was like Apollo 13 guys. Failure's not an option. And I think you need to have that attitude about your business because most of you have other things you're doing, other lives, other incomes, other careers. And the beauty of this, it fits in with everything you're doing. Okay. So, but you just got to make a decision. You're going to do it <laughs> and make a decision. And thank you very much, Janet, for putting it in writing. What is your goal? Are you going to do 333? 222-111. And some of you might be serious and go, I'm doing 555. There's no limit on how many people you can contact and how much follow-up you can do. Most people can't put more than a few hours into the business every day. Some people can put 10 or 12 or 15 hours because that's how I was. You know, I used to say I, I was working eight to faint. From the time I woke up to the time I expired, I was so focused on the business uh, you know, as the saying goes, I was kind of a one spoke wheel because I had to recapture the financial stability for my family. So whatever your reason is, so what is your why and match your why with a goal? First the why, then the how. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just really excited uh, of working with all of you and knowing that we're going to be able to uh, see lots of you crossing the stage at at new ranks coming into the conference. So, um, and Robbins would like to share something. <laughs> I'm poking him. <laughs> so, you know, we were talking earlier, Gregory, in the very beginning about timing. And it's, it's a rare opportunity to be with a company that's at the early stages of hyper growth. Mm -hmm. You know, to be with an established company that next year will be 20 years old, which rarely happens in this profession. <laughs> Do companies make it that long in over 80 countries around the world? But more importantly, you know, since we started, the company's grown 15 fold and we're just getting going mm -hmm. and we're still a secret around the world. And so this is an opportunity that is rare. And when I uh, first started learning from Gregory, my mentor, you know, he said, you know, one week is like, uh, a month of work, one month is like a year, something like that. You want to share? Yeah. Uh, right now, a, a day is like a week, a week is like a month, a month is like a year. Because five years from now, the opportunity is still going to be great, but I <laughs> promise you it's not going to be as good as it is right now. Yeah. Because okay? when things take off, like really take off to spontaneous duplication, oh, we're talking spontaneous. In one of Gregory's business, can I brag about you for a sec? In one of Gregory's businesses years ago, he was adding 1,500 people a day to his team, a day. Now, single-handedly, yeah, no, right. not really. <laughs> so having your team in place, yeah. because if you have five people in place and it exponentially multiplies five times, you got 25. But if you have 100 in place, oh boy, look what's going to happen. So getting your people in place now to take the ride of your life. And that's what we have as an opportunity right now. So in, in summertime, go out and have fun. Do the things you love to do. And guess what? You're going to emanate <laughs> this wonderful energy that will be magnetic and attractive. And people are going to want what you have. And that's what I notice about our community. It's such a vibrantly healthy community. People go... I want what you have, whatever that is. <laughs> and so then you get to tell them and the bling can attract it. And I had someone, you know, put the, the bling uh, on this spot here. It's a headache. It's a very powerful acupuncture spot for many, many things. It'll actually induce labor if you're pregnant too. Um, Dr. Nicholas said, if, unless you want ready to have the baby, don't put a patch there. But at the same time, no matter what patch you put there, and someone asks about it, just talk stem cells, even if it's not an X39 or an X49. That's just, a good point. just talk stem cells because keep it really simple and focused and have fun because that's the magnetic force. And you know, our team motto the most fun wins. So you <laughs> and never leave home without it. And never leave home without it. All right. Okay. I, I think we came to the bottom of the half hour here. And I want to thank everyone for joining us today. This is really fun. Enjoy your summer. Do the things that you love to do and watch what happens because of it and the kind of people that you meet and are attracted. Yeah. Okay. So if you'd like to unmute yourself and bed your farewells, uh, happy day to all and uh, onward and upward. See you bye. Great call.
Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Hi, how are you?